Non-Centered Actions, Rise of the Star-Lords, episode 53. Mm. Uh, taking to the heavens. Uh, I'm making a, I'm shooting from the hip here. That's going to be an aspirational episode title. We'll find out if I was right. Uh, last week, our heroes continued defending the town, although there was a number of orbital strikes. Uh, targeting the town's garrison and the recently christened and constructed cathedral. The the town had just scrimped and saved and built after the last one was burnt down in a tragedy. Uh, I'm sure in the aftermath, people are going to have some feelings about that. But I'm so glad that they learned their lesson and got insurance this time around. Yeah. They got insurance this time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, insurance costs money. They had to pay the contractors. They're going to get insurance next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the budget for the next fiscal year. Yeah. Um, so that was last week. Before we get into this week, we need to introduce you all and go with our question. Our icebreaker question from a quality question writer. That's the only thing I have to go on. I don't know who it is, but they're a quality so question writer. Silly names in there. I love the silly names. So, Whoever did that, aces. Yeah, I mean, they're a person on the internet. I should believe them whatever they say when they say that they're a quality writer. <laughs> but why would they lie? <laughs> but this icebreaker is two truths and a lie. And let's just go left to right. Uh, Leif and Ava, what are, what are your two truths and a lie? What? I'm sorry. I don't understand the question. Just give us two, two truths and a lie about Ava. Oh, an odd question. You may have, uh, hold, mm. I gave you guys so much lead time to interpret this and work on it. However you me. wanted. Start from me. Okay. Start right to left. Yeah, because I can usually just go off the, off the cuff, but this is this one has actually stumped me. Sure, we'll we'll flip flop and do Tom's suggestion. Tom and Jacinto, two truths and a lie. Yeah. So, um, Jacinto once ate an entire wheel of cheese on a dare from Rackus. Jacinto has said "I love you" in a romantic way to someone. Jacinto wishes his voice were a little deeper. For some reason, I think the cheese thing's true. Same. That cheese would be so big compared to Hisinto. <laughs> we know the last one's true. So Hisinto's never said I love you in a romantic relationship. All right. Nick and Lahan, why don't you take it away? Wait, Tom didn't tell us if we were right. Jet doesn't even te- yeah, Jet doesn't even let me fi- confirm. Yes, Nick was of course right. Well, I was intending to leave these unconfirmed. <laughs> Oh, what? Yeah. (laughs) But then nobody learns anything about the character. I mean, they they learn two things that might be true and one thing that might be false, but they can't be sure. Mm. I like certainty, Jet. Okay, we'll go with the certainty route. I was going to go with the ambiguity. Wow, I almost couldn't say that word. Uh, (laughs) That's how two trips in a line works. It's a a team building exercise. Yeah. Yeah, Jet. Um, let's see. Lahan um, has six brothers. Um, she took apart her first engine when she was six, and she has lived in the same place her entire life. I you only have answer. five brothers. Ah, yes, you're right. Yeah, I was like, it's got to be the brother number. I don't know how many she's got, but I know that the other two sound very mm. likely. <laughs> but a lot of the answer is cheating. She knows all my tricks. All right. Conrad and Grrrr. Much, much better this week, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can. That's... All right. So two, two truths and a lie about our favorite uh, uplifted bear murder machine. Uh, all right. Point number one, uh, this is the first time Groar has seen another uplifted bear in the last week's events. Uh, point number two, 
Gorar does not know how to read. Point number three, this is the sixth planet Gorar has been to. Opinions, please. Mm, I don't think Gorar has ever seen another uplifted bear. I... I want to go with that one, but the sixth planet one is interesting. I think he can read. Yeah, I... Th- I... <laughs> well, you <laughs> said, Conrad, you said that Grar can't read, yeah, correct? Yeah, so I think he can. I think that's the lie. Oh, right. Maybe. No, see, I think I would believe that Grar can't read. Now, he's secretly mm. a scholarly bear. This is hard because I haven't spent 52 episodes with Grar. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to say the planet one myself. Anyone else? <clears throat> Let this have it. Grar can read. Oh my gosh, you guys. He's <laughs> 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 got an intelligence of 12. Oh my goodness, guys. Hey, you can be smart and not know how to read because I know I, I read a little bit of your backstory how you basically were like in the wilderness for a long ass time. Which is fair, but he, he does know how to read. Right. Oh my goodness, the bear is smarter than Finn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, excuse me, first off, the bear has a racial bonus to intelligence, so I'm pretty sure Finn does not. I've got a 10 in intelligence. <laughs> so don't act so, don't act so surprised. The grower has been genetically modified to be more intelligent than you. <laughs> uh, I'm, still, I'm still not surprised. That the bear and, smart and speaking of Finn, Lapis and Finn, what are your two truths and a lie? Finn worries that uh, Bathana doesn't like him as much as he likes her. Finn thinks Ava is sexy in a scary sort of way. <laughs> And Finn practices catchphrases in front of the mirror. Oh, all of those seem super plausible, I think. I know, I know which one I want to be a lie, but I think it's the catchphrases in front of a mirror. Uh, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, no. he, he would never act upon it. Ava is scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, in a scary way, yes. <laughs> Ava, Ava is terror arousing. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's that uh, word should not exist. Oh, uh, so terror Stop it. Bad, Gives. bad jet. He causes fear boners. Gives, <laughs> gives Finn bad a fear erection. Lattice. 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 Get out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all of you are going to horny jail. <laughs> Um, I'm coming um, to you live from Horny Jail. What are you talking about? <laughs> you already put me there. We, we, haven't, fact, we haven't been is. in this area for a while, but this oh, used or, to be the horniest show around. A horny is... Jail for all of you. Y'all behave. I mean, we had a 69 joke like two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, I mind thrusted for 69 points of damage. That was, that was. I think I peaked that this night. This show is now the horny show. It was the Sunday show, now it's this show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We just had to outdo him. Yeah. Uh, okay, Leif and Ava, second okay. try. <laughs> okay, I get, I, I get this. I've never actually done two truths and a lie. I've only heard about it in cryptic, horrible stories of, of, yeah, business uh, <laughs> airways and such. Uh, <clears throat> two truths and a lie. Let's see. Uh, Ava has never been anywhere but Sandpoint. Um, Ava... (laughs) Ava has never said I love you in a romantic relationship, and Ava can't read. (laughs) (laughs) I see what you did there. (laughs) I think it's it's the second one. I think Ava's never been in a relationship because she lived with goblins in the woods. Who would she date? Goblins of the woods. That's, that's speciesist. That's racist. Well, um, and humans can't date date goblins. I'm not saying they can't, but you want to cut goblins' ears off and things. All right. It doesn't so, sound healthy. Ava can read. She has a comm unit, and well, 
No, Ava can read. Um, <laughs> so that's wait, a lie. Not, wait, what sure currently? I think the lie is that she's never been anywhere other than Sandpoint. I think she yeah, has. We what, just don't know about it. No, no, we left Sandpoint. We've been outside of Sandpoint with Ava. I presumed it was before this adventure, but maybe. <laughs> I did mean before this adventure, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to think that Ava has secretly been on adventures and just come back and told no one. Ah. She does. She does the anime time skip, but just herself, and I then really, you know comes back to the regular story she, arc. She's really a max level character. She's really level twenty. She's just been you know playing That's along. Why she's so ridiculous. Punzies. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in for Ava is in fact able to read. That is, you have lied there. I still think it's the relationship thing. Oh, she can definitely read. Ava oh, is the, the was, was the phrase that Ava can read or Ava can't read. Can't. Ava cannot read. Oh, and, that's and, a lie. And you guys would be correct. Ava can absolutely read. So, Music to my ears. Now we Tom need to Lynn. know Ava's secret adventures sometime, Leif. <laughs> I'll I I'll have to regale you all with a tale someday. <clears throat> uh, You're only gonna tell the bear? <laughs> what? You'll regale us all with a tale, so you're only gonna tell everyone who has a tale, so only the bear. Yes. Well, you're giving it away. Stop spoil ah, spoilers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we are on turn thirteen. Oh my god, yeah, right right back into it. <clears throat> yeah, we are. We, we did oh, our icebreakers. We talked a little bit about what happened last time. I need to widen my notes a little bit so I can use my quick links and get me down to the correct spot. And it's going to be Ava's turn, but let me get us to the map so you can see Ava. Let me pull that little banner down. Boom. And I will I will bring us right to Ava in one second. Shift click. The most powerful move. It is a great move. And what we see before you is there's a bear that just broke into the children's room, if you'll recall. There's a giant outside doing stuff with Lahan. That I said that wrong. Attacking Lahan. <laughs> yeah. Attacking. Um, Ava's focused on that bear. Can she see the bear? It pushed the door down and went into the room. Um, I mean, you could very easily get to it, but you can't quite see it from where you're standing. I, well, I, 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 I could do a little on doodle onto the onto this roof so you kind of understand what I... No, it's fine. Okay. I, I, I get it. I get it. I just wanted you to paint me a mental picture. Yeah, so the door's um, been pushed down. Uh, you can see, like, as you get up to the door, you look inside and the bear is in the room. It's pawing at and, like, beating on a bed. And the bed has been turned up on its side. And you can kind of see there is someone or someone's hiding behind it. Well, Ava comes flying into the room and stabs the, the bear in the butt. 24 to hit EAC. I forgot to pull my bears, but I'm sure that that's a hit. Let me... Check in one second. Hero lap. Yeah, that definitely hits. 48 damage. Ow! This is a very healthy bear. Or, or it was. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Wow. A lot of damage. <clears throat> uh, so you moved. You attacked. Do you have a swift action or would you like me to pass it on to Lahan? I was hoping I had a swift action. I don't think I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I Drop don't want to do it, but yeah, um, as, yeah, when you hit a target, okay, so yeah, that's not even really an action, it's a free action. I'm going to attempt to intimidate the bear, that's a 30 to beat its 15 plus one and a half times its CR. That, I mean, that does it. <laughs> All right, well then, uh... They are off target while attacking anyone other than me <laughs> until the beginning of my next turn. <clears throat> All right. That is right. that ability uh, known as <laughs> grab attention. Good fun. Good fun. Yes, Tom, you are correct. Uh, I was going to say for your swift action, you just like drop your drop your uh, singing shuriken and just draw another one because you have quick draw. 
<laughs> You're like, that one's been used. <laughs> Getting a fresh one. <laughs> Lahan, you have a big giant that recently smacked you based on your stamina it points being depleted slightly. Did smack me. I'm going to fly 30 feet further up, so a total of 60 feet up now. It does provoke it once, try and smack me again. Yeah, it's going to. It's going to. Let's roll. Roll, roll, roll. Yes, 35 to hit for 41 electric and bludgeoning damage. <laughs> so rude. Uh, but now I'm 60 feet up, uh, and I will shoot it. Well, actually, I'll shoot that bear. I can see it through the roof now, right? Yeah, you can see it. It's the roof has been caved in in that area, and you can see it. So I'm combat tracking that bear. It's a 34 that's, to hit EAC. That's super hits. That's 37. For 37 points of cold damage. That bear is looking not not great. Take that bear. And it is Roar's turn. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm going to recount what happened last week because I thought it was magnificent. He, uh, Groar came out of the sky like a meteor and charged headlong into this one giant, uh, and uh, this guy surrendered. Oh yeah, he so, did I, surrender. I, I, I forgot like, about either, that. You can either have some beer or you can die, and he chose beer. Yeah, I forgot about that. I apologize. No, no, um, it's quite all right. <laughs> I've had a week. It's been a. No, it's, I've had the last two months. Let's say that. Uh, hey, I'm on the scale of one to ten. I'm going to get a zero right now. Uh, what else can Gore demolish? Uh, I mean, there were just two giants here, so you can either uh, demolish something inanimate. You did see the giants grabbing. Like in other locations, I don't think you saw these two do it, but you did see giants grabbing people, uh, opening up what appeared to be some sort of portal on their the inside of their forearm and shoving them inside. You could investigate that. Or you could, um, you know that there was another location where a trio of giants were messing up the town a little bit back the way you came. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's do that. So I I remember is he still hasted? I believe that ended yeah. just before we ended. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Jacinta, what are the odds of me getting hasted again? Uh, running. Well, I'm not running low on juice, but I probably shouldn't keep dipping into the reserves here. It's sort of taken a lot of my uh, my inner resolve to uh, fuel this haste. Okay, so Grar will just go on his main, very, very fast 70 foot base move speed. What, which direction is their trouble? Uh, it, it would be, looking at this map, it would be north. Because you were coming from up, further up north, you came south this way, uh, and you deemed that dealing with this gate was more important than dealing with three giants that had already made it inside the town. So you just bypassed them and went right by them. Okay, about how far away are those three giants? Um, let me pop back to the other map. I think it'll take you a couple turns to get there because hasted, it took you three turns to get here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and... is only 30 feet bonus, right? Yes. Okay. And your fly speed, I think, was 60, right? Sure was. So you got you passed him on turn two last time, so I think it'll take you two turns at your normal okay. speed to get back there. I'm doing real quick, flat, fast, and loose mental math. Would somebody like to accompany me? Uh, if you want to pick up a plant and a spider again. <laughs> hop on in. All right. Um, then I'll just spend my turn uh, getting on top of Grar, on top of Artanya. Ready to <laughs> I'm just picturing spider on bear head, plant on spider on top of bear head. It, yeah. there, there's like an Arby's logo of the meats that they have stacked on top of each other, and that's what I'm visualizing right now. And Grar and is are, flying backwards, in... powdered toast man style. <laughs> I, I need to link this because I feel like some of you all did not get this reference. We are indeed ready to once again deploy like a. Okay, so Grar yeah, and Jacinto rocket. have combined Voltron style and are get sailing through the heavens. I have helpfully uh, Finn, 
You have a giant in front of you. Yeah, you've missed some stuff. There, you were, this, most recently, you fought two giants. One of which is dead. <laughs> one is in front of you, surrendered. They had just laid siege to Two Knights Brewery. Uh, the entire town is under attack. Uh, they've fought off multiple giants. Lahan's fighting off multiple giants with Ava, as well as, like, a trio of dire bears. There's a spaceship. The last time they just weren't able to, to be here, here. Yeah. Right? And I listened to the okay. session for the, the last one. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you, you had all the info. Like uh, a good GM should. All right. Uh, have I seen Rathana in all of this chaos? You have not. Uh, you have not gone by the rusty dragon in yet. Are any of my compatriots anywhere around that area? Uh, not as of yet. You you also do have a comm unit, and I imagine you'd have Berthana's comm code. You could try calling. Smart. I'm going to fly after the, the mecha combo and call Berthana while I'm flying. Okay, uh, it rings approximately uh, once, and then she picks up. Uh, Finn, where are you? Uh, uh, everything's coming apart. There's, what? There's something's exploding in town. What is going on? Oh, Siege, where are you? I'm, I'm in the basement of the Rusty Dragon. Stay there. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. I'm on my way. <laughs> I I don't know how deep this relationship is for the two of you, but I think this is a moment where there are high emotions. I think she's going to tell you, uh, uh, stay safe. Uh, I love you. Click. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Aw, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, text the group text that I'm going to go over to the Rusty Dragon. Oh, okay. All right. Everybody, everybody knows that I'm going to go off alone now. If anybody wants to come help me, that'd be dope. <laughs> so I don't die. Bruce says, split the party more. Yep. We'll go through these next couple turns, and then we'll take a take a look at the big map. So uh, again, direction? because some of you are flying around the town. So uh, so that, if that, I may, which direction is the rest of the dragon? Uh, we'll bounce to the map, and then we'll figure that out. I think it's slightly north and west from where you are. So why don't we just go together as a group of three? Noise. Yeah. I get the back uh, of the air. Sure. I like that. I like so that. So this giant that is next to Lahan can no longer reach Lahan. No. Take that. But that they can, they can, uh, let me shift click real quick again. They can they reach jump? this stuff here, which is just debris. And they're going to reach down and pick it up as a move action. And then they're going to throw it at you, Lahan. Right. Because they can hurl debris. They are going to take a minus two penalty to this because you're outside their first range increment. I bet you if the giant jumped on the roof, it might be able to like run, jump, and grab her out of the sky. Oh, that would be super dope, except for I think the house would collapse at this point because the bears wrecked that roof. <laughs> sure does. Uh, but a 32, does that hit your AC, Lahan? Oh my goodness. Why are you this way? It does. It's just mean. 32 bludgeoning damage. As I think a rain barrel hits you. Ava's not doing good at defending her squishy. Ava's not doing good at defending herself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that giant. This no, bear. Like a really bad time up here. This bear that was attacking the children is going to turn around and uh, try and avenge its bottom that was stabbed by a singing oh. shuriken. Oh. Okay. Little Let's do bottom. this. <sighs> Multi attack. I'm going to bite and claw you twice. A natural one will miss for the bite. It bites its tongue. <laughs> Oh, I missed 3.5 rules where that would end the attack then and there. <laughs> yep, uh, a 26 I know will miss Ava, miss. but a 34? 
Hey, hey. 23 slashing damage. How Ooh. much did it hit by? A lot. <laughs> really? Not a lot, but I think if it was by four or more, I think it hit by four. You you have been, you are now hugged uh, as though oh. by a bear. Bear hug. How much Wait. damage? 26? 23. And it was slashing. Uh, that was the bear's turn. This giant is going to sit there, and I think on the that giant's turn, the one that surrendered, since you all are leaving the area, what is going to happen is the gentleman that was defending his brewery steps out. A a burgundy sort of wine-colored, uplifted bear in like full star knight regalia steps out holding us holding a sword at his side and just staring down this giant where was this guy before <laughs> he was stabbing from outside the windows actually is what he was doing <laughs> and we are on turn oh it didn't I deleted a turn, so it didn't count up. We're on turn 14 now. I'll take us back to the big map so we can figure out some movement for some folks. So this dot right here was approximately where you saw the shenanigans happening last. It's probably moved in. Let me move because, you know, they're not just standing still sacking one area. Probably moved up the street this way. And we can look at our good old absolutely gargantuan list of locations in town because I'm a mad person. And you are. It's true. <clears throat> here, I'll bring us back here and I will shift click on where I moved that. And we will look at Sandpoint locations. And the Rusty Dragon is number 37. So the Rusty Dragon is actually this way. Oh, that's actually real close. Yep. You could probably get there in one turn if you do a full-on aerial sprint type maneuver. If you were hasted, it would probably be one turn. 300 and something feet, I guess, would be two turns. Sounds like two turns. Yeah. Um... If you can run with a jetpack, I think we said you can't. Yeah, but um, they. Yeah, you know, but the jetpack has twice the movement speed of Finn, so Finn would have to sprint. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Grrr. So double. my baseline move speed is seventy, which is faster than the jetpack. Oh, so you could just run up the. I'm street. just gonna run up the street. Well. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you could legitimately just run down the street. <laughs> oh man, Jacinto, Jacinto pulls out some goggles <laughs> and slips them on. Need to get a pet carrier Bet for Jacinto on bullets. Grar. Uh, oh man, Grar, you should absolutely. Once we actually, you know, become friends, and maybe Grar likes Jacinto, uh, nice. you should absolutely carry me around in a pet carrier. I think that. <laughs> Have a little like saddle with a little throne on it. <laughs> what this is, is uh, it's a, oh, oh man. man, we are this close. I'm gonna photo to realize a tune. my dream of uh, well, uh, more Lamar carrier. Well, we're flying. I want a photon a tune because I can be three turns a tune by the time I get there. The, the problem is, we're not in a fight. I mean, the whole town's a fight, I think it still counts. I'm just running between a fight to another fight, but everything's under siege. That does count as make, like in danger. And can you make pointless tags against the starship? Would that count? Sorry, roll twenty got weird, and it swapped to my other non-GM account for this, so I had to log out and log back in. <laughs> A ladybug on my keyboard while Jed is doing that, and I'm trying to coax it onto my finger. Come here, ladybug. Okay. So Finn out? doing a full sprint ladybug? is thirty, sixty. So it's 120, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom, our uh, resident Disney princess. <laughs> one has like some weird fuzz on its back, but I'll still. So Come you here. get approximately there, Finn. Jacinto is going to represent Grar and go. What the heck? Uh, 
Oh, the map's acting weird again. Why? It's not showing me measured numbers for Jacinto. I'm just going to do that. You'll be a stone's throw away. Um, and we're back to Ava, and I will move us back to that map. Oh, oh showing boy. Up, but I've, got, I've got a late bug. Oh. Next, I'm going to start, you know, whistling cheery tunes and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> die, bear, die! Oh, my God. Uh, she she just lashes out with a, <sighs> in defense of her life. And 23 to hit. 23 Easy. will actually hit, not kill it, but you super murder it with your second hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And oh, it is yeah, confised as it dies. That's three. That is three <laughs> hits in a row. That that third one does hit. She is. She's just. She's fighting a bear. She. There's no such thing as overkill when you're fighting a bear. <clears throat> yeah, so it, yeah. The bear's the hugging bear. you, and you're just stabbing it in the bear kidney. Just. Oh, hey, that is actually a good point. I might. That first one might be too lower. It doesn't matter, but. Um, well, the second two definitely hit, and the second two yeah. definitely kill it. <laughs> Yeah, no, that 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 middle one there, for those of you listening, was a crit for a grand total of 72 damage by itself. Nice. So and an additional 31 damage after that. All Sonic. And, uh, yeah, that's a, a dead bear. The kids are probably still horrified and hiding. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, don't don't forget the confusion effect. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, who can forget the confused? The bear is confuzzled. Um, yep. but the, the best part is, is like they, these kids were horrified by this bear being broken, like just breaking down their door and all of these horrible things happening. And now there's this wild woman standing in their room over the dead bear covered in blood. I don't, I was yeah. expecting you to say that and it still got to me and then I spilled my tea. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that wasn't you. That I was truly just... <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's just that there is the picture that I'm painting for you guys. You are welcome. Uh, and it's now Lahan's turn. Ava just did a super murder, as she does. Um, yeah, let's combat track that giant and shoot it. Sure, sure. Oh, all of my bears are dead. The 32 to hit that giant. A 32 to hit that giant <laughs> does hit that giant. Uh, Your bears were trying to eat people. 28 cold on. damage, right? 28 cold damage, or so you wish. Ha 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 ha. And it's Grrrr's turn. I assume you would like to arrive at the Rusty Dragon. Um, and I think that pretty much takes all, all you got to get there. Well, let's see. Can I... Let's, let's get back to the map. I think you two? maybe you can do it in one action. Maybe. Uh, no, no, like so. Charge. I means I can do two move actions and do an attack at the end of it, right? Yeah. Yes, but you're also assuming action. you're also assuming that there's going to be a giant there when you arrive. I am assuming there's going to be. A giant and there. you get to the rusty dragon. And why is it not giving me measurements when I move Jacinto? That is super weird. All right, whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna say you're there. You get there, the Rusty Dragon is fine. There are, uh, it is, the doors are locked. You can see inside. It looks like just chairs knocked to the ground. Either people fled possibly, or you don't know, like they, like, Finn might not have told you that Berthana is taking shelter in the basement, but there's a very good chance that maybe she opened up the basement to others. Okay. Um, on to the next giant. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay. Um, well, I know you're. I know that your running speed is faster than your flying speed, but it's faster to go in a straight line. <laughs> All right, let's go in a straight line. Which. If we look in close, I think you might actually have a little side street you could follow. So you could probably 
probably get about here. Start your way down the block. Um, at any point, if you'd like to fly, you can. Jacinto, I assume you're still along for the ride? Yep. Yep. Where the bear goes, I go. Finn. <laughs> I'm going to get in that building. I'm just... I'm not going to be mean. I'm just going to say you get there. <laughs> you're, it's, it's only a little bit further than you could have moved. Um, okay. And it's, one of those, it's one of those crazy adrenaline. My loved ones are in danger. Sprints. Yep. And you get there. The door is locked. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't get inside because you literally have like condos in the upper stories because they built you places to stay after what you did for uh, Amiku Kaijutsu. So you, you could very much just unlock it yourself if you so chose. Uh, yeah, I'm getting in there. Okay. But that'll so have to be next to use yep. all my moves. Yep, so you're getting in there and you you have like biometrically unlocked things. And <laughs> come on, I shift and clicked. Nope, I'm caps locking and clicking. That's a bad jet. And we're back to this giant. This giant that is going to once again reach over and maybe grab the garbage bin and throw it at Lahan. Is the garbage bin full of garbage? Uh, it's like half full of garbage. Uh, 34 to hit for 31 bludgeoning damage. My goodness. Lahan. You, you guys you traded right? partners. No. <laughs> You guys traded partners, and you picked the big one. <laughs> that bear is dead. I think Lahan just needs to keep flying up so she can get out of even more range increments. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's the eternal problem of the mechanic, right? Uh, too many things that need my move action. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is turn 15. The barrel of the gun is continuing to glow brighter, and it is Ava's turn. Ava, you have a dead bear in front of you, some screaming children and possibly their mother hiding behind a bed and there's a giant that just keeps hucking things at Lahan that you can see through the broken roof yep Ava is going to activate her jetpack to jump up through the roof um <sighs> if you want to be super cool and not have to sacrifice a bunch of movement you could just run forward and jump out a window super Super action hero style and activate your jetpack that way. Oh, okay, you jet. All right. <laughs> she she covered it with bear's blood, flops a bunch of it on the ground, looks at the kids and their mom, and just says, You're safe now. And then just boom right through the window. Yeah, you can, you can, you can spring off of this middle bear's body and out the like big double window that they have on the upper story and right towards that giant if you want. This wasn't damaged enough. Ava's breaking windows. <laughs> oh. Uh. No, hold on. We're gonna go to there because I don't want to take an attack of opportunity. Sure, sure. I mean, if you take the attack of, of opportunity, it can't get anybody else. There's <laughs> nobody else that can possibly get it. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Twenty six. But, but that's AC. enough. It hits. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have oh, great armor. Forty nine damage. It uh, hurts a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, and Ava gets ready to die. <laughs> Are you gonna yell some insults at it while you heard it? She says, you shouldn't have come here. <laughs> nice. Uh, Lahan, what would you like to do? Um, fly up 30 more feet and shoot it. Sure. Oh, I rolled it out one. Do we have any rerolls? Do we have any rerolls? <laughs> no. I don't know. No, we Chat's don't. dead tonight, folks. Yeah. Oh. We don't have any rerolls. None of our audience loves us enough to give us rerolls. Sad. I mean, <laughs> this is. I mean, is critical like. critical role has started their campaign campaign three. Um. Yep. As of like two weeks ago or last they week. They are right. pretty cool. 
Yeah, but we have a talking bear. Now. We do have a talking bear. And, and a tidy plant boy. As well. And a very, very tidy plant boy. Yeah. We do. Uh, and, uh, tidy crew. There we go. I was just stalling uh, for a second in case any of our in case Dave. anyone wanted to. It's it's all good. So you're at like That's ninety grow. feet in the air. It's Grar's turn. Grar, you're gonna continue moving. I imagine. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, please. I will just seventy hundred forty two eighty. I can't. I don't know why that's why you're being weird. You're you're about halfway there. Uh living on a prayer. Uh Jacinto <laughs> along for the ride. Sento, do you feel the need to do any healing of any sort? You have spells that you can cast. That's a great point, Jet. Um yeah, you feel I'll cast... somewhere in the distance. One of your good friends is about is perishing. Two of them. We are, tell you what, we're level 11. We are mind linked. Um, wait, wait, is that something that I've been forgetting about? And You've been forgetting that you're mind linked. Yeah, you you can talk across the entire material plane. Can we really? Ooh, works. I thought, it, I thought there was a. We are. I'm pretty sure it's the prime material plane. Like, whatever, if you're all on the same plane, you can talk, I think. Dang. <laughs> I'm double checking that because if so, that would make. That would change a lot of things about how we've been doing this so far. This I think would also definitely be like the the like first time I've that's ever come in into play, like in a in a campaign I've been in with all the mystics I've played with. The ladybug is back, everybody. Yeah, uh, oh. Starfinder. Uh, all right, so telepathic bond is the thing. Just these lovely nesting powers uh, that we have in Starfinder. Telepathic bond. You have a telepath. You forge a telepathic bond between yourself and a number of willing creatures, each of which blah blah blah. They're linked, communicate telepathically through the bond, regardless of language. Uh, it work works over any distance, although not from one plane to another. You're right, Jet. God. Mm. All right. So yeah, we can talk telepathically. Uh, if Rahan is like, you know, hitting the panic button, Hisinta will absolutely redirect to. Um, to Lahan's location. Well, Lahan's location is sort of on along. Yeah, You'll get there eventually if you just bypass the trouble. What trouble? You guys were heading to the the nearest giants. Oh, okay. You passed yeah, yeah, yeah. giants. Lahan and Ava are well on the other side of that trouble. Yeah, yeah we're a ways away. Okay. Um, we'll yeah. come alive and live to you. Sure. Lahan might have some healing serum or something. She can I will tell you that. this, because you still might not have realized this. They'll only have move actions as a normal human. I will tell you this, Grar, uh, Sinto, and Finn. You all are the closest to the Heartbreaker. <laughs> and that starship could probably move faster than you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Trouble is, none of us are Dexy. But I guess, uh, you know, we can fly, we can we can drive a car, we can fly a spaceship, probably, so. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. So, Jacinto will say, uh, uh, Grar, um, can you, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, can you, uh, take <laughs> us to this location? Uh, it is going to be, oh yeah, Grar can't, Gar's not in on the telepathic bond yet, but regardless. So I, I speak telepathically to begin with. I don't know if yeah, I'm part of the yeah. bond, but like we can that, yeah, that's right. So um, he'll direct you to the landing pad for the heartbreaker. Um, just not not going anywhere crazy, and we're not leaving. Uh, just so we can get to our other friends a little quicker. Uh, Jet, you're muted. So I'm I'm wondering, looking at the hit point totals there, right? Uh, it, I don't... It's a choice. I was just giving you an option. You don't have to go for the ship. Um, so 
Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, the other thing, mechanically speaking, firing up a starship does take minutes, rounds, ten minutes, I don't know. It's it minutes, yeah. Yeah. So, that might not actually be an option. Um, all right, so, Jacinto will burn a, uh, both a, I'm sorry, uh, Conrad, uh, give your input and then I'll decide what I want. So, I'm thinking it's going to take several turns for us to get the Ava and Mahan. Um, looking at their hit point totals, they don't have several turns. So either they're going to succeed by themselves or they're going to fail by themselves. Fair. Although, as yeah. soon as... As soon as Asinto, like, if Asinto feels them go down, that is his priority, is he's he's going huh. to be running over there. And that's fair. Um, uh, what happens in Starfinder if your hit point levels reach zero? You have, you're dying and you have to spend a resolve point, uh, or yeah. a number of resolve points at the start of your turn equal you to start, a quarter of your resolve points. You start playing the resolve point game, which is loads of fun. I only have 11, so it only costs me two resolve points to stabilize, and it'll cost another resolve point to get back up with one hit point. I, I also, again, this is not me pushing you to go to this ship. I, I, I know I joked about that being the aspiration, but you are forgetting that you have a town full of people, many of which, many of you have connections to these people in town. Specifically, um, well, the docks. The like, Lahan knows people on the docks. Some of you might know people on the docks. Like, you could possibly call them and see if they could be getting the ship ready for you. Yes, I was going to suggest that. I was going to suggest it to Lahan as, as Ava, but I guess we're all just talking to each other, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, yeah. telepathic bond, speed of thought. Yeah. So we are one mind. Pretty much. We're all united by the song, baby. Uh, so Fair enough. yeah, we could just we could just. And even if have... Jacinto doesn't have the right com codes, Lahan has it in her brain because of her exocortex. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jacinto will have. Uh, We'll ask, I don't know, uh, Lahan, do your, are your brothers around? Can Do you think we can get one of them to fire up the Heartbreaker for us? So, because, I mean, we're going to have to send somebody up there to deal with that ship anyway. Uh, and you'll get back from Lahan. I'm sure someone can. I'm a little busy right now. Sorry, sorry. Um. Uh, but you've met Lahan's brothers on a number of occasions. Yeah. Yeah. The twins have gone drinking with you all when you came back yeah. at the celebratory feast. Uh, you've met, I think you've met Osman a couple times. Yeah, you probably have at least one of their comm units numbers. Yeah. That's part of every traditional Starfinder uh, <laughs> greeting is the exchanging of the cell phone number mm -hmm. before. You just wave pleasant. your phones over each other. Huh. I mean, that's like modern day times. You exchange cell phone numbers, you are drinking, you're like, hey, let's do this again sometime. Here's my phone number. Also, I can yeah. really If you have an iPhone, you can, in fact, just like put them near each other. Yeah. Uh, also, what are you, I an can... iPhone chill? <laughs> I, can, I can see Lahan's brothers being like, here are our comm codes. We are going to contact you. <laughs> Give us yours. Um, There's just a little bit of Gus in everyone jet plays. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Jacinto. If there's anything you want to do, any calls you want to make, you can do that. It's your turn. You're just riding on the back of a bear. I'm ju I'm just a plant boy, sitting on the bear's back, <laughs> hoping that his friends start <laughs> <start back>. searching <laughs> for me. Uh, <laughs> that was beautiful, Leif, and I'm sorry that I spoke over it. Um, I want to heal. I want to heal people. So yeah, just we're going to burn a third level Mystic Cure because I, by the transitive property uh, from, whatchamacallit, Artanya, my spider boy, uh, have also taken damage on top of Artanya, the spider boy. Oof. So. Where is Artanya? 
Too bad you can't heal over this mental link. He's with us. Okay. Uh, 5d8 plus zero. That's a dumb, that's a dumb macro. No, yeah, it's plus my wisdom modifier. Regardless, that's still terrible, terrible healing. But uh, that's, that's what the dice rolled. So 16 plus my wisdom modifier, which I want to say is seven. I have a very wise plan. Uh, yeah, very wise and powerful. So 23 points of healing back to Artanya, whose hit point total is 110. Well, current hit points is 111 out of 135. So I said 23. One shy of healed. And then for fun, we'll burn a first level spell as well. This is obviously going to be a one fight kind of day. Uh, in that, yeah. in that, the whole day is a fight. <laughs> yes. One massive fight. Yeah. We will be fighting for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I like how you're like the whole day will be a fight, and it's tech. It's been a minute and a half <laughs> at this point. Listen. I and I know I keep bringing up One Piece because I've been watching it a lot lately. But I just watched a hundred episode arc that was the one whole day. The whole one hundred episodes of twenty three minutes each was one freaking day. Cool. Yeah. No, I get that. I've watched plenty of shonen anime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You've done that, uh, Finn. You have the door unlocked. Voice. Uh want to make my way down to the basement sure you can do that easily enough it's not an absolutely massive uh common room you can get over there to the basement the basement door is probably also locked but again it's it's probably as simple as a biometric scanner or something okay do things look like they're falling down or anything she said shit was colla- things were collapsing well uh if you'll recall two strikes hit the town and you felt it seismically, and there were shock waves. So the building is structurally fine. Probably some of the glasswork or anything like that might have fallen and sh- broken, but like the rusty dragon is not oh. collapsing by any stretch. Oh, okay. Uh, and if you do open up the basement door, do. uh, you'll hear uh, sort of. Uh, collective gasp as there are numerous people sheltering in this basement. Okay. Uh, Berthana will probably recognize you. Does she even know you have wings? Because you haven't been back since you got them. She probably yeah, won't no, recognize. She... No, I sent her pictures. I sent her pictures. Okay, so she recognizes you pretty quickly, and she will run up the stairs. I sent her shirtless sexy pictures sometimes. You know, because we're doing our relationship. Sure, sure. She will run up the stairs to you and probably hug you hard enough to crack some, ri- like potentially stress I mean, your I've, ribs. I've taken some <laughs> some heckin' wounds today. <laughs> um, You're getting rocks thrown at me. <laughs> she's a very strong woman. Uh, she she will twirl you. <laughs> I mean, Finn does like strong women. Uh, is is there... everyone okay? Uh, th- it sounded like the building might be falling down, but it looks <sighs> fine. I, I, no, I think we're fine. I wasn't trying to say the building was like everything's shaking. Like there's loud noises. Uh, so- we're being attacked. I didn't know what was happening exactly. Well, there's a uh, giant siege in the town. Keep everyone safe down here. Call me if uh, anything hits the building. Right now, there's nobody in the area, though. Uh, I'll okay. send uh, any other stragglers down this way. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll do. Uh, right. She looks Love very you, serious and this starts is marching. Kiss on the top of her forehead before she looks oh. serious and wanders away. <laughs> okay. Kiss on the top of her forehead. She yeah. smiles at that and then she very seriously starts wandering over to some crates in the corner. Cool. That's the end of my turn because that was a lot of talking. And I'm gonna gonna go find the rest of my compatriots. Yes, indeed. So Tanner. Back to Tanner's bridge. And it feels a lot better. Sally has checked on her. That's good. And we've got this giant here, and I've got two targets. And I think I'm going to... I'm going to full attack Ava. Oh, man. I'm going to um, mental to the group, though, that they can send any uh, anybody that's in danger to the rescue dragon, because it's safe there. 
Ava, I rolled a 21 and a 26 to hit you. It's KAC, right? Yeah. Miss! Both times miss! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, the, this hammer just sweeps out, just digging a furrow in the side of the building, just narrowly missing you, just t- twice, just swinging out. You can feel the rush of air as it passes you. And it is turn 16. And on turn 16... No. The t- Whatever the, it is, no. The turret fully charges. And another lance of this purple-red malevolent energy arcs down into the town and there is another boom and a shock wave and I wanted once again going to take us back to the sandpoint map because you actually get, uh, plant spider bear you get to see a much this much closer than you previously have as map layer as the sandpoint theater is obliterated <laughs> well shit flame <laughs> okay. caught yourself just in time Tom. <laughs> yeah, nailed it man man it's been a while since I actually legitimately cursed on screen <laughs> I just wanted you to see that crater uh Mm, noted and it's Ava's turn again <laughs> Ava you were narrowly missed by this giant right. and you have once again her saw that purple red lance strike into the town to the south of you and felt the ground rumble and the shock wave through the air Oof. I leaf was looking something up so I didn't hear where it hit but that's appropriate because Ava wouldn't know where it hit either she's too focused she feels it. She hears it. I'm sure she sees the flash, like, like on the shadow on the trees and like the wall in front of her. But she is focusing on killing this giant. Sure. Another crit. Die, you son of a. <laughs> yes. There you go. Everyone uh, hit EAC, and then a crit, and then an 18. Yeah, the first two hit. Uh, four. Yeah. That is a grand total of... 100 damage. 100 damage. 100 damage that it gets through. Tell me how you kill this giant, Leif. Uh, Well, thanks to Shurikens having the quick reload property, which means they reload as part of the attack, she basically was just standing there with her, like, belt nearly depleted. She had, like, four left, and she just kind of went, shing, 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 and threw three knives super quick, and, like, one of them missed, but two of them, like... Stuck one of them in the eye and the other one like in the throat. And as it strikes, as it pulps the eye and strikes the throat, and the it starts bleeding out of its jugular, and it just kind of stares at you in shock. The hammer falling lifelessly from its hands, and it slumps to the ground with a thud. The house behind the house behind you rattles slightly. That was your full action. Lahan, the giant is dead. But uh, another strike has hit the town. It's actually a yeah. free action to fall to the ground, so she's going to do that. Lahan will pull a healing serum and drink it. For 16 hit points. Yep. Uh, that's, that's a whole round. Grrr. Would you like to right. continue to the trouble? I would like to continue to the trouble. So, we, do we decide that we're going to the trouble at the uh, the spot in the middle of the city, basically? The area by between 15 and 24? Yeah. Yeah, That's we were going, we were continuing towards the nearest site of uh, giants. Yes. So, if I could recap the decisions that we've made is that we're going to have our friendly towns folks start up the, the starship for us. We're going to have Ava and Lahan slay their enemies, which they appear to be doing quite well at. And we're going to continue to be uh, going towards that trouble, right? Yes. Okay, let's, let's do it. All right. 
So, so 280 so. is approximately there. You're basically there. I will. I'm going to just. Because a lot of this town is essentially <laughs> just drag and drop, I'm going to reuse a map here. Um, <laughs> what, Jay? You don't have bespoke maps for every different I don't, area we, of the city? I would like for us to add a little section on our Twitch page so that I could kindly thank a creator of some maps that I support on Patreon who has given me permission to use them, but he wants me to credit them on our Twitch page. Yeah, that's something that can happen easy. Maybe not that easy. I don't know anything. Twitch is, I say it all the time, Twitch is the one thing that I actually don't know much about on this show. But it sounds like something that could be done. It can be, yes. And they specifically make like cyberpunk, sci-fi, futuristic maps, so... Nice. Uh, I am adding a thing. I apologize. There we are. That's the wrong size. I was a little. I, I was taken off guard. I didn't actually expect you to get to this trouble. I expected things to go a different way, so I was caught slightly off guard. What? On guard. Yeah, what? Players, like, diverting your expectations? Doing what they want instead of what you want? I mean, I it wasn't specifically what that. I wanted. Like, I'm fine with this. I'm not upset about it. Oh, we're, we're just filling time, Jet. Don't mind us. Yeah. There we go. Uh, pretend there's uh, some more buildings around as this is kind of in the heart of downtown. Or closer to the heart of downtown. Uh, I'm just going to move you all over to the side here. Actually, it would be more south. Because you're coming from the south. Doo -doo -doo. Maybe there. I have moved you here. You're coming in. Let me pull up my description of what is going on. We go. Uh, you, as you're approaching, you once again, you see giants smashing windows, reaching in, pulling people out, dropping them into those portals. Um, one of them stands head and shoulders above the other two giants that are with him. Uh, he's got more rocky protrusions growing out of his hide. He's kitted out with a little bit more fancy equipment. You suspect this giant has maybe a higher station than the other ones that you've previously fought. You don't necessarily know what that means, but I will show you a slightly bigger image of this individual. He does look slightly different, yes. Cool. Well, this is gonna hurt. Well, it's gonna hurt me, not you. And, uh, and, and hurt as you're, friend. yeah, and as you're up on approach, you hear this bigger individual just bellow, "More prisoners!" Oh and no! <laughs> bring That's us right. your fat, greedy merchants, and we will spare your miserable lives. Ignore us. And you'll burn in our dragon's fire. Mm. Quick, Jacinto, right. use your quick targeting ways. Merchants, greed. Uh, Jacinto will, I don't know, are we within earshot of them? I think you're approximately where I just put your figures on the map. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, minus Finn, because Finn detoured. Yeah, we'll we'll get around to it eventually. And Grar got you there, and that pretty much took everything. So it is Hacinto. Okay. Uh, then uh, Hacinto and Artanya will once again sort of. Uh, I, I just keep picturing the parts falling off of a rocket, uh, a multi-stage rocket. As so, uh, the uh, appropriately the large bear. Um, 
sort of slows down for a second, and Artanya's wings like flare out, and this time uh, push us forward. And uh, and Sento will launch upwards with Artanya, but first he'll give us. He's gonna burn a fourth level spell slot. I have one left, which is scary. And he's also going to burn a resolve point in combination with this to once again affect us with haste, a hasted song of the spheres. It's a, uh, it's a very fast techno beat. Is is the song that we summon today? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. 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 yes, mm-hmm. lots mm-hmm. of boots, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so many boots, and many more cats. So uh, this gives Artanya the fly speed to get us. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, probably foolish, but that's okay. Jacinto flies up on Artanya and uh, lands on the parapet up here. And then Jacinto will call out over the the thing. Um, What do you all want with the greedy merchants anyway? We want their lives. (laughs) Well, listen, I'm, I'm all for, you know, eating the rich and stuff like that, but I don't know I if, think, like... I think he means literally eat the rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I You probably want them for, if if I might have it a guess, somebody needs their greed, probably. Somebody needs their greed, I'm sure. You weird people with your rune lords and stuff. Um, you're going you're gonna to need to let all those people go. Uh, they... You can read their body language fairly easily. They disagree with that statement, and they sort of unlimber and point what appears to be a white star Nova Lance at you. Yeah, that's fair. Um, how high up am I, by the way? Uh, I, I, that's not. Again, it's not really a wall. Uh, it's you're probably like twenty five feet in the air. I, I'm just okay. Let's Definitely use, not let's enough. Let's use our imagination. Yes. in this imaginary oh, yeah. game, and that is like a t- the top of a building. <laughs> sure. Uh, then definitely not high enough, far enough away from a giant with a white star Nova Lance. So, that said, Sinto is going to give one of them a, a nosebleed. Um, so, Sinto will uh, lash out at this giant psychically. You might want uh, to have stopped... Uh, one square diagonally down into your left. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, because because like, you would again, see the weapon w- in their hand. Yes, and I was picturing like a parapet, like a like on a castle wall kind of thing, like much higher up than I uh, am in reality. So, yes, I stopped further back, and then I do a mind thrust, and I thrust at their mind with my mind. I do not have anything oh that's good damage um i don't have anything like hold person or hold monster i have hold person but i don't think giants count for hold person are well are giants humanoids i mean it's only level two right like you're you're muted giants are in fact humanoids they are huge humanoids and this particular version is earth extraplanar giant So I could try casting Hold Person on one of them. That would be fun. But I've already pressed the button for mine. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, try it next round. But I, I will remind you. Like, you don't have a higher level version. Of all things, Will is their greatest save. Yeah, that's, yeah. Which is that's, still bizarre to me. Yeah, like, not fortitude as in giants made of rock. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> I, I have just slightly modified lunar giants, is what I've done. And lunar giants, for whatever right, reason, they are, have They will. are magical, aren't they? Like, lunar yeah. giants tend to they, have They They have a so lunar cool. aura, which I have gotten rid of because I didn't like it. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so that is 42 points of mental damage. DC 20 will see. So it is 21 points of mental damage as they do resist it with a 26 total will. Yep. Yeah, you'll have that. So, 21 points of mental damage. And, uh, oh. No, and I need to matter. roll initiative for them, is what I need to do. All right. 
And then Jacinto uh, spurs Artania back, uh, back, back over this way. There's no need for us to be uh, quite so close right now. And that is my turn. Oh, you know, I do need to be relatively close. What's my, what's my, here, let me put my aura on actually, so that way. 60 foot. All right, so yeah, I'm just in, or rather I'm just in range of Grar, so I'll move down a little bit instead. I'm down here, so this way Grar is uh, always enveloped by my my aura of techno. Your warm, loving techno embrace. Yes, sure. Warm, loving techno -y <laughs> embrace. Sure, sure. Some uh, some EDM going. I'm sure I've just mixed something up horribly, but anyway. Finn, would you be trying to find your companions at this point? I imagine. Um, question. Where do we land on me being able to attune while not like actively punching at a giant? I would You're say in combat. This, the way I've been cool. running it is we're in turn based stuff. You're in cool. combat. How many move actions does it take me to get outside? Uh, I mean, it probably. You're probably fully attuned at this point because it took you a little bit to get here. Well, I'd actually want to know just because I need to have a free move action to do the thing I want to do. Oh, um, I and think I, it, I, need to be I, I think I, I told you to get to the basement was like a move action. So okay. we're playing a little fast and loose theater of the mind at this point. So you're fine. fine. So, um, well, I would have to get outside the building and then get up high enough in the air to where I can see everybody. So that'll probably be the end of my turn. And the next turn, I can probably do the thing I want to do. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Finn charges out of the rusty dragon and flaps down powerfully with the up. mighty wings straight nope, up into the heavens. Yep. Yep. Well, photon attuning. Uh, Getting ugly. This giant is dead. It is now turn 17 and the turret rotates and the secondary barrel starts glowing. And it's Ava's turn. Ava. Wait, wait, where's that turret at? It's on the spaceship in floating space. way up in the sky in the upper atmosphere. We can see it though, yeah? Uh, it's very far away. Like... But we can see it, yeah? Are you going to try and teleport and punch a spaceship, Finn? Do it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to teleport to my friends, but I was thinking about going to punch the turret. <laughs> Remember to turn your environmental protections on before you go spacewalking, <laughs> just like yes. Grandma always said. Because I could even hypothetically be on the other side of the turret. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't even just tears it off the spaceship. I don't know what the rules are for for attacking a spaceship because that's you what you just gotta you make doing. them up at that point. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, for going actually. it's you just divide the damage done by ten. Mm. I think. No, okay. maybe I'm complaining that with Griffin's rules for the adventure zone for uh, damage done by PCs. To anyway, I mean it makes sense because damage done by starship weapons to PCs is multiplied by ten. Yeah, I think it's a pretty sensible solution, if nothing else. Yeah. Even if it's, it could be wrong, but it sounds it sounds good. Yeah. All right, that's Ava. My <laughs> I could be wrong, but it sounds good. I mean, that's Ava what I'm gonna roll with. It makes sense to me. Ava tells Lahan, you need to get to the ship. We need to take care of that that turret. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to to where the others are and hopefully gather people along the way. Where where's the sh where's the ship at, anyways? The ship the docks, right? It's at the docks. Yes. Um I will take us back to the Sandpoint map. I didn't know if you wanted to see your token. So the docks are here. Ah. So again, it, it's probably the fastest way to get you the ship is really to get the ship to come to you. <laughs> yeah, but it, there's no way it's warmed up yet. It's been like 12 seconds. But that's a good point. So, okay, what are the what's the rules then? How long does it take to start up a ship? It is it takes, turns or is it minutes? I, I think it's a minute. But <laughs> you still haven't tried calling and talking to anyone, so you don't know what the situation at the docks is. I thought Grar was doing that. Didn't, didn't somebody on the other team say they were doing that? 
Hisendra did. I thought Finn was doing that. Yeah, I was reaching out. Oh, I was, I was just pointing out that Hisendra had the numbers. Yeah, we, we pointed out Hisendra had the numbers, and then Tom cast some healing spells, and then didn't didn't do any RP of contacting anyone. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on, and I'm a tired guy. No, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not blaming you. I just assumed that I your know. priority was the healing. <laughs> oh no, like that. Not. So I thought that was a choice. Lahan jets no, off in the that. direction of the ducks. It will take her five rounds to get there. Um, if you let me run with my jetpack effectively. Thank you. Sure, that's um, fine. And she is uh, sending a message via her comm unit uh, down to her brothers, hoping they're uh, nearby. Kimball, Sebastian, we need to get the Heartbreaker off the ground now. <laughs> uh, you receive a message rapidly, and it's like, where the hell are you? You only, you're the only one with a combat capable starship and we've already got it warmed up, but we don't know what the hell we're doing. I'm on my way. <laughs> and, and you're like, how did and they get on the her. ship? They don't have the keys. Biometric. <laughs> she knows how they got on the ship, it's biometric. There you go. Um. And they've got Oswin. Do they think not get on the ship? They're Valdemars. They got this under control. Yeah. So, yeah. If you if if you want, you could literally just tell them to come to you, and the ship could come to you, and it would, it could be very rapid. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Like if you ping them with your location. <laughs> yeah. No, she said. The the what I said was, uh, the Lahanza. She's on her way, and then she shares her location. Sure. Okay. I didn't catch the shares her location. I apologize. Um, cool. So you tar- start taking off, sharing your location. Ava, you are heading for Jacinto? Ava is actually going to go down to that giant and free the people from their null space chamber. Okay. Yeah. So it's just normal interactions with a null space chamber. We're getting a little wibbly wobbly with turn actions here, but it's fine. You, you can open it up. And you see that there's probably uh, there's the one guy in there. I think that he yanked out one person and put him in there before you guys actually started interrupting them. Sounds um, about right. And then there's Don't someone else. Getting in there though. Yeah, and then there's someone that ran out and fell and then got stepped on. Rudely. Yeah. Uh, so you you do free someone and they're fine. Because again, in my head, it would be absolutely silly for someone to not at least not have second skin if they're in a civilized area that's capable of producing them. Even if they didn't, null space chambers have enough air for for a while, depending on their for rating. An hour or so. But I don't know when I'm coming back here. Yep. So, so you do free that's someone. My turn, yep. Is I free someone, and if I I don't I probably don't. But if I had a move action, I would pull out a. Theorem of healing. I would say that freeing them from there would probably eat up your turn. Because you'd okay. have to move and then open up the null space ch- chamber and then they could probably shimmy themselves out. Fair enough. Um, and then we go to another map. Whee! It is the it is the very large, very intimidating giant that's actually spoken to you. Uh, and it's their turn. And this being a wall is very irritating. Uh, they are. Is there another giant here than there was last time or no? Uh, there there are three giants. Three. Gotcha. When it was just the when it was the brewery, it was two giants. But right, 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 right. right. There are three. Uh, this this gentleman is going to uh, climb up on top of this building, uh, kind of collapsing into their top store, top their their top floor, and stride through, just destroying the roof as they do so to get about here. Still can't reach you, but they reach in and they pull out. The kitchen, the, the the bathroom sink, <laughs> and they <laughs> throw it at you. 
They're throwing the kitchen sink at me. Oh no, it's the bathroom. <laughs> well, it could be the you kitchen. You did that sink. on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are, I'm sure, you're very close to. Oh, you're just within the first range increment. Rude. 36 to hit you. 36 bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Minus five because I have DR. Uh, <laughs> you have deflective reinforcement, right? Oh, uh, so you said 36 or 31. Uh, still took roughly half of my stamina, and I was at full. I'm a squishy plant boy. You're I'm so squishy. squishy. Um, my con is 11, Conrad. <laughs> I have this other giant. This other giant is going to reach into what looks like a to this tower, but it's a, in fact a neighboring sort of townhouse. And they're going to smash open a window and reach inside and grab someone and yank them out. Uh, um, this, as a yep. small note, I had to spend my reaction to not fall off of my mount <laughs> after taking damage. Oh, that's fun to know. This giant yes, steps over here. Right, you can only pull off once. <laughs> this giant steps over here and smashes its arm into another building to grab a hold of someone, but they don't quite pull their arm out. And it's Grar's turn. Yeah. Sinto got hit with a sink. Grar will silently touch the giants, but okay, that's fine. It didn't give uh, you a sinking feeling? I do have a sinking feeling. Thank All you. Right. That was good. Not, not that I had the sufficient amount of time to make my look of disapproval slash disappointment <laughs> Very on good. the button. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I feel like this is a good distance to stay away from this giant. Um, let's go do this. Um, you know what? I feel like... So he's flying right now, right? Grower is? Uh, I believe you stated that you were running over here because you had a 70-foot okay. run speed. Okay. Um, does this wall exist? Uh... So the tower is going to be a building where this guy is, is a building. I, I think you could squeeze, th like not squeeze mechanically, but squeeze through like a little side alley, like where someone would probably put their, like in our modern day, like their garbage bins or something. Okay. So Grar will go along. He's going to burst through a pile of garbage and go ahead and trip that dry and under love. Uh, let me roll the dice that will justify such action. Uh, that is a 41 against your EAC. That super duper works. Super duper does. Yeah. Super duper trip. So you tripped my poor innocent kidnapping giant. Poor innocent. Poor. Also awful, awful, just terrible. All right. They are, yeah, they're innocent. They're, they're. You know what? That's technically true. We haven't seen them do any crimes. Uh, over to his that, person, that giant just grabbed a person out of the house. <laughs> Depending on where you have it, maybe legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grar doesn't know your legal system over here on Sandpoint. That's true. That, that's pretty presumptuous, actually. Putting people uh, into bags against their will is illegal. Thank you for clarifying. Jacinto, you just got hit boy. by a sink. <laughs> Let's throw sinks I, at people. I did, and I didn't like it. Um, I should have. You throw sink at someone, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It's very illegal. Really? At least, you know, at least assault my mind with mind powers or something. That's what I do. Uh, cosmic truth. Cosmic truth. Cosmic truth. Within 30 feet of you. That's okay. I'm effective. I am, in fact, hasted as I'm on, on top of our Tanya. So, Jacinto will move here on our Tanya because that puts us 30 feet away. And then Jacinto is going to. Oh, but their will saves are really good. If your ranks in bluff plus your wisdom bonus. That's a pretty high DC, though. 5 plus 7, that's a DC 22. That's only two higher. No, it's not worth burning a resolve point to try this. So instead, Asenko is going to um, buzz over here to the south on Artanya. We descend to the ground. Jacinto slides off before anything bad can happen and then sends Artanya 
forward. Um, yeah. Artania also still has, uh, whatchamacallit, Defrex Hardiness on him because uh, that's minutes per level. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So that is my whole... Is that my whole turn? It's my whole turn. That's my whole turn. Sure. Then you run in for your friends, flying, or nope, yeah. you're teleporting possibly, possibly to a spaceship. <laughs> so I can I can see the spaceship. You, you you can see it, not clearly, but you can see these the, the speck floating in the upper atmosphere. I for one can't wait to see what new character Lapis is going to do. Go on. Finn is about to teleport up to the, face, the spaceship. Decides to teleport over to Lahan instead. So I spend one move, uh, move action flying up high enough to where I can see Lahan, and then I do uh, it's my little turn into light photon ability. Oh, you, where you can move light speed, right? Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you guys about the other day. Nice. <laughs> Man, it would have been crazy if you teleported <laughs> to the spaceship, though. I thought about it. That, that times 10 damage, though, kind of. I don't want to die. Yeah, that's real cool, actually. That's a really neat ability. Yeah, I love that ability. I, I Very really situationally use it. useful for this situation. Well, no, because, no. Well, see, I, I wake off in front of you guys, like, really often and get terribly damaged, so this way I can go back to the healer. That's why I took it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to move you to the same map, even though they're not technically not really on this map anymore. Uh, so yeah, Lahan is flying, I think, at this point, and you tell you instant transmission like Goku in Dragon Ball Z in front of Lahan. You you turn into particles of light, uh, possibly I don't know, red light, golden light, and whoosh, and then just rematerialize in front of Lahan. What are you doing? And that's a move action. <laughs> What's around here? Is there anything to punch around here? Uh Lahan? No, I'm not gonna punch mm -hmm. Lahan. What? No, I was pro I, I was imagining you would be you you would appear and Finn would say this to Lahan, so I was pro I was prompting Nick. <laughs> so Finn appears next to you. What are we doing? Hey, where'd you come from? That way. <laughs> We're gonna go take out that spaceship. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna follow follow Lahan. Sure. Now she got something to fly a spaceship with. Much more practical. Jacinto will then think, having heard, you know, the chatter on the mental link, will think uh, independently to Grar. Well, Grar, it looks like we're on our own down here. Uh, why do you say that? Oh, uh, everybody's going to get on the spaceship. Uh, I think... Wait, Ava, are you getting on the spaceship? Honestly, I hadn't decided. <laughs> All right, well, we might be alone. Sorry, anyway, it's Finn's turn. I'm being very rude. I'm done. Yeah, it's now turn 18, and it's Ava's turn. Ava, you get to decide what you're doing, because you just freed someone from that null space chamber. I I did that. Um, mm, I can't possibly leave leave these these guys to themselves. I will be requesting a, a ride drop drop me as close to 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 our friends as you can because there's no way i'm getting there faster than the ship yeah uh and That's i think play, right yeah and i think what you would see i i i thought it and i forgot to say it as the turn happened uh you would have seen the heartbreaker rise into the sky and start shooting across the downtown it it is probably halfway across town at this point um, Ava, go for it. Starship weapons do 10 times damage to living creatures? Yes. Uh, Ava, they... you want to shoot some giants? That's the other problem is they're they're not accurate enough to to, uh, to target. I, I remember reading about this. You, you can't target specific individual creatures with starship weapons. It acts as a hazard on a map. And I don't remember how that hazard is placed or how it's enacted, but you, you can't just fly your starship into regular combat. Yeah. Otherwise, everybody would do that all the time. Right. Yeah. So... Not everybody. 
so while it sounds like a great idea, Ava says, uh, as part of her combat banner, that sounds like a great idea, but I don't want to hit our friends. That's... Thank you. <laughs> and she's just going to bust out a uh, serum of healing and start healing up for the for the next fight. Sure. Yeah, I was trying to do a quick Google to see if there was quick and easy rules for figuring out that hazard thing. Yeah, the orbital weapons, they very specifically detail it because those weapons are des designed to strike like structures and affect an area. Um, 15 healing, that's good. Uh, so yeah, you you fly up um, and Lahan, you could, if you if you do the run, you could probably get to the Heartbreaker because again, they got most of the way across the downtown. Yes, absolutely. Probably not board it, but get to it. And okay. it's this big boy's turn. And he threw a sink at you and then you just kind of went away. And then this, this this bear came over and made his friend fall over or his subordinate. And let's see, how far can I get there? Oh, whoa, awkward. They are not friends. They're <laughs> not friends. They're co-workers. Subordinate. Uh, and he just starts, he turns and he's he's standing on the, inside the second story of this like townhouse. And he just starts walking through it south to that second like attached portion of the like the neighboring townhouse and he just walks into the upper story of that other townhouse at a reduced pace just just destroying these houses and he is uh within range of grar i believe and he's going to lance out or strike out with his lance as it were a single time oh, boys. i rolled a three on the time 25 to hit, which I know will miss. You've got to be kidding me. Please. Yeah, I know you have an absurd AC. I always thought Ava did. Yeah, you say you got to be kidding me like one higher and it wouldn't have hit Ava. Huh. I don't want to go there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's this other giant. The, the giant that fell over is going to stand up. And because I could never fuck you around. We're standing up those not for right? Correct. Not in the Starfinder. Nope. But it does eat up an action. And then Unless it, you have that one soldier gear boost. Yeah. And boost, rather. It stands up and then it's going to try and kick the spider. Yeah, that's that's understandable. He's a spooky spider boy. He's a spooky spider boy. And I rolled significantly better against Artanya, so 32 to hit for 35 bludgeoning damage. You mean... Uh, 24 bludgeoning damage and please take 11 points of piercing damage ow ow oh man that's like kicking a ball of nails i didn't even think about that ouch yeah, that's, a, that's a spiky spooky spider boy it's like stepping on a sea urchin spooky or a hedgehog. spider boy <laughs> or a hedgehog. well done well done it is a hedgehog <laughs> this spider the, the spider this giant up here continues rooting around in the house and pulls someone out and is like yeah <laughs> and then slams them into their portal Grar, the giant you worked so hard to knock over, stood back up. I, I look around and just like, what what else can go wrong today? Fine. You're going to receive a full attack, Mr. Giant, who insists on being vertical. Ah. Is, that, is that a miss? The, the 19 is a miss. The 29 is a hit. Yeah, I have seen that. Minus thirty-seven. That is so much. That's that's a lot. Um, of oh, you have a plus. Oh, you have a plus two morale bonus. Um, Song of the Spheres is only plus one. I know Nick had been entering some of the the Song of the Spheres stuff, right, Nick? What now? Um, uh, Entropic Strike seems to have a plus two morale bonus. I was I was going to remind Conrad about Song of the Spheres bonus, but I think. Yeah, you've oh, got... Oh, yes, you have a toggle for it. Is a toggle though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But plus two... Mar I'm seeing a plus I'll, two... I'll fix it, I'll fix it. I, I see it. Well, uh, a 28 still hits, but <laughs> thank you, Tom. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just, no, I'm just pointing it out. It's good. Uh, Sinto, <laughs> that giant stood up and then kicked your spider. 
well, <laughs> we can't, I won't stand for this. Uh, so uh, Jacinto is going to burn a first level spell slot uh, to cast another Wisp ally. Uh, this will go on this giant here. Would you mind uh, putting like a, put a purple, a purple dot on him to represent the Wisp ally for me? Oh, yeah, that's much easier than actually creating a thing. I'm yeah. a foolish fool. That's okay. Uh, so now it's going to provide harrying fire this round, and Artania is immediately going to gobble it up. Harrying fire, only defeated by Dollar Shave Club. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, single attack. That's a 30 to hit KAC for 30 points of piercing damage. Oh! So yeah, Artania like gets, you know, kicked a little bit and uh, sort of jumps back and then hisses and goes back with the two uh, awful pedipalps and tentacles and stuff that uh, <laughs> dig into that same foot. Chews on the toe, just <laughs> yeah. And oh, yeah, you know, through that toe, draws out a lot of his life force as it turns out with 30 points of piercing damage. They and are, they are the danger spider for a reason. <laughs> Yes, yes, he is. Uh, that is my turn. Finn, you, uh, there, there, Lahan flew past you at that point and went to um, the Heartbreaker. Me, like, has not boarded it, but has gotten next to it. I'm going to follow her. Sure. You can do that. Yeah. Does that light speed thing deattune you? I think so. It says when I'm fully attuned. Um, it it will say that you then become unattuned. Oh. And it doesn't. So you can just it be doesn't. like, I so want to be. Gonna, I want to be yeah, there. Yeah, I want to be the And then I'm gonna use my second move action to board it. Ha! Beat you. <laughs> God. Yeah. So and fast. Much wow. Finn steps. <laughs> Finn. Uh, opens up the lock. It is now turn 19, and it is eight minutes till the hour. And I think we're going to end tonight with Finn uh, materializing in front of the the uh, airlock of the Heartbreaker. Materialize and move at light speed. Yeah, you move at light speed. Materialize in front of the, the airlock for the Heartbreaker. O open up the biometric lock and it it goes from red to green and it starts to and it starts to slide open and you step inside and that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna pause today and we'll nice. be very we very rapidly we probably be going into star starship combat next week yeah so many boots and cats i should yeah. leave myself a note as to how long that is going to last for we have another two rounds of it So much, so much boots and cats. And and Leif, the the most recent orbital strike was the Sandpoint Theater. Yeah, if Lehan hadn't been getting this ship, though, I totally was going to go punch that gun. I still think it's a great <laughs> idea. Well, but this one you didn't, honestly. That's the joy of having a low-end character. I can come up with dumb plans, and they are totally something my character would do. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb plans and best plans. Yes. Uh, uh, am I getting am I getting picked up by the ship or do I have to fly to it too? I mean, that's gonna slow us down. We could pick her up, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, at I the beginning at the beginning of the turn, Finn has the airlock open. I'm not gonna say that one of the twins couldn't shoot a freaking grappling line out and grab Lahan and yank her inside. And the, I had the ship moving at the top of the turn before Ava. So it, it, if Ava made it known she wanted picked up, the ship could get she to did. you, Ava. Okay. She had said something. I have a call. Um, so let's make a note that Ava can board the ship on this turn. I can type something out or do you want to? I'll just type something out next to my name. Yeah, please do that. And I'd like to thank Paizo for the product. This has probably been, 
I'm sure my players would disagree. I know Tom does not is not super enjoying this fight, I don't think, but this has been probably one of the most fun combats I have. As simple as the enemies have been, because it's I don't know. It's it it's designed to be sort of an overwhelming fight, and it's an interesting scenario that I've not ever done before. And I it's it's I like it. <laughs> I think it's definitely more interesting Starfinder wise as than it would have been Pathfinder wise. We got more things to play with. There's definitely a lot of decisions to make, yes. Yeah, and Tom likes control. <laughs> and there's there's not there's not as much control to be yeah. had here, so it 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 grinds against my own personal desires, but that doesn't mean that it's not good stuff. I'm digging it. Um, so I appreciate that <laughs> making this all into Starfinder and giving us fun battles and things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just remembering last week. I had so much fun with the bears pushing through the roof and just jumping they were up and just down. Like jumping up and down. I'm yeah. so sad I missed that. <laughs> uh, um, I'd also like to thank my players, uh, especially Tom, because I know this gr this kind of fight grinds against your nature. Uh, but thank you for sticking through it with me. <laughs> I'm just gonna like every single thing a hundred percent. It's it's okay. I don't I don't need to be thanked personally for. <laughs> For, you know, putting up with anything. Oh no, we need you to like everything 100%, otherwise it's not worth it. You're, uh... I'm gonna head out. See, there's five of you, so what that means is you're the Planet of Tears, and Tom, you have the power of heart. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's the worst power there was. Like, what does it even No, do? it's only the worst because of who had it. I mean, <laughs> you can stop people's hearts, man. That's the best power. <laughs> the, the power to stop people's hearts. <laughs> <laughs> the power, yeah. yeah also the power, the power to start them. Thank you. Also <laughs> the power to start And this is why Lapis doesn't get the power of heart. <laughs> Lapis doesn't get the heart for, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but so oh, I think no. I thank my players. Leif, who do we as a group have to thank for the audio stuff? Alex Productions and Lo-Fi Girl. Uh, and me. And, and Nick. Because, yeah, that was that was more than 2% of our audio. <laughs> we did it enough. Thanks, Nick. You're, you, we would be lost without you. You're very welcome. Cats. I know my, my musical talent is... Uh, Tom should make a Tom and Nick. You should work together to make an actual Boots and Cats song. <laughs> there is a Boots and Cats song. Shades posted it in. Uh, oh, in I Discord. missed it. I missed it. It's a Discord. You can go find it after. Uh, I'll have yeah, to. Yeah, in the Rise of the Star Lords uh, thread. But uh, Tom, speaking of Tom, what do we have going on Sunday? Oh, you know, nothing much. Uh, just the I end of the adventure path. <laughs> Just the finale. I don't even know how to deal with that, Tom. <laughs> and Gus, we're, Gus, we're in the end game now. Gus and everyone so. has become such a big part <laughs> of my week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is going to be weird. And, you know, we should really talk about how much of what we're going to announce on Sunday we're going to talk about at the we, end of it. We will so. make an announcement on Sunday. Yeah. What, did, what will be in it? We don't even know yet. But Shh, don't tell them that, Tom. If you don't tell them, they don't know. No, it's way it's funnier scary. when you tell them how unprepared you are. Uh, just like when you explain jokes, that makes everything funnier. So, and yeah, confirmed. this Sunday we'll uh, we'll be wrapping up. Uh, fly free or die. Will they fly free or will <laughs> they die? Uh, tune in next time on non-standard action. My bets are on die. <laughs> And next oh, week, it is going to be a Lapid. pretty hard fight. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this now. It's going to be a high CR fight. We've had the crap kicked out of us already, so. Fleem. Fleem, I think you mean. Fleem. Almost. Oh, crap is not that bad a word. <laughs> crap is not a swear, but fleem is I, more situationally appropriate. Setting yes, appropriate. It's, it's, it's almost as if somebody was trying to drain you all of resources or make you spend things before the final boss fight. <laughs> kind of like what is happening here <laughs> yeah. oh no <laughs> wait what Rip. no just slowly draining you of resources making the fight harder and harder as it goes on it's a marathon yeah, slow, slowly draining of resources, resources. looks at spell <laughs> slot list looks at the fact that it's turn 19 Tom <laughs> um 
But next week, we'll continue with this. And in the time from today to next Thursday, I will try and actually build us a map for the final fight with those three giants that we've that we've just started on uh you know i i've i've got dungeon painter studio i'll spin that up and we'll see how that goes and uh if you have any questions comments concerns shout outs that's what i wanted shout outs please feel free to contact us via discord the link is below um also you can email us if you feel more comfortable with that nonstandardaction at gmail.com um, but you should just hit us up on Discord because if you hit us up on Discord, you can go to our welcome channel or our feedback channel and you can fill out an icebreaker suggestion form and make me ask the players questions about their characters. Totally anonymous. We have no idea who you are. Yeah, someone started submitting with wild names and we have no idea who they are. I have to believe it was actually James Bond that asked you all the uh, the most recent icebreaker on Fly Free or Die. Possibly. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel Craig, uh, wherever you are. I, I don't know who to suspect. But uh, I think it's time for us to say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>